An alarming new study shows countries are releasing a record amount of greenhouse gases that contribute to global warming. The U.N. Secretary General said this, we are in deep trouble with climate change. More than 37 billion tons of planet warming emissions are expected to be released into the atmosphere in 2018. And that's roughly 100,000 times the weight of New York's Empire State Building. That's a lot. China is the largest carbon emitter in the world. The U.S., by the way, is number two. Ben Tracy shows us the effects of dangerous air in Beijing. Good morning. It's a rare blue sky day here in Beijing, but generally during the winter months, it's so polluted that most of us are walking around with one of these masks on our face and using sensors like this to constantly check the air quality inside our homes and our offices. And that's because Chinese cities often look like this. Toxic clouds of pollution block out the sun and make simply breathing in cities like Beijing hazardous for your health. Now, a lot of the carbon emissions here are from burning coal, which not only fuels much of China's manufacturing economy, but also heats people's homes in the winter. China produces 27% of the world's global emissions, and they are expected to rise 4.7% this year. The U.S. is the world's second worst polluter, accounting for 15% of global emissions. The European Union and India round out the top four. Oil demand has risen for five years in a row. We do have more efficient cars than we used to have, but around the world, more people are driving and they're driving further distances. For CBS This Morning, Ben Tracy, Beijing. This is the third major recent report to raise the alarm about global warming. World leaders are meeting in Poland and they're trying to figure out how to keep temperatures from rising more than 3.6 degrees Fahrenheit above pre-industrial levels. We need to pay attention to this. This is very, very serious you know, and, and getting worse. I know, and I keep thinking, certainly this is going to be the major issue for our children's generation exactly. with rising sea levels, rising temperatures, all of it, droughts, which affect agriculture prices. Mm -hmm. It's a real thing. U.S. policy is not really addressing that exactly. issue.